So check this out. Let me, tell me if this sounds familiar to you. You're working away and you're, you're trying to figure out the painting. You're trying to get the thing working and you're doing all the things you think you know how to do this and it's changing, it's kind of working, it's kind of not, it's, it's just, but it's not, you know, and at a certain point, you just, you just like, oh, fuck it, you just start, you just scratch it out, or you just give up, or you just kind of like admit you don't know what the hell you're doing, and you just give up, or let go entirely, and then all of a sudden, you kind of look up and go, God, actually, no, that that's working right there, I can, that makes sense, and there's this crazy thing that happens, like, you can kind of find your way and you find your way when you you kind of like let go of even trying. And and I know this and I talk about this all the time and I'm always surprised <laughs> when it happens. Uh, but it happens to me all the time, all the time making art. I call it finding your way as you go. And I know I've talked about this before. I just love this idea that we don't really get to know where we're going and we can really have more fun if we just trying to figure it out uh, as it comes. And actually, times when we don't even think we know where we're going and we really don't, don't have any sense at all is when some of the best information comes and, and some of the cool possibilities open up for ourselves. And, and, and I'm talking about uh, you know, art making here, but I'm also, it also shows up in life. And it shows up in, in, in this process of, of getting your art and making it and, and, and turning it into something that other people will relate to and putting it out in the world. And, and, you know, galleries, don't you like your work at first? So you sell it in a garage and someone next door sees it and they tell their friends and that person has a gallery and you get in their gallery and, you know, that whole twisted way that, that things go, that it never goes to plan. It certainly doesn't go that way for me. And I think it doesn't really like success doesn't look the same for everybody. I know there's a path that is described, you know, put your work out there, you know, promote your work on social media and all the things, but it never is like that. And, and there's, it's just, it's surprising how many twists and turns are in it. So that's kind of a cool thing to lean into the, the, the way of making art and, and the way we approach it can also be a reinforcement as to the idea that of, of, of how we do this thing in, in a career sense that we're, we're not it's there's not one way to do it and that that it's going to be surprising how it's going to turn out for you and i think the one thing that does help is to realize this and and to also just really focus on the fact that you're unique and when you have an idea that maybe ha other people haven't done like i think i'm going to like i'm not even going to like do galleries i'm going to do this or i'm going to show my work this way or i'm going to make paintings that aren't square anything that's kind of like no one's ever even thought of this before and, and you do that's a clue those usually seem to be the things that make all the difference in the world at least for me turns that i've choices that i've made that other people haven't that just seem this kind of came up and and that's those are those are clues um i think anyway let me know in the comments uh if, if you can relate to this does this happen to you do you notice this in in your art and your life you know when things uh get really super hard and you're trying you're putting so much effort and then you just you just give up and then there's a solution that pops up it might be right then but sometimes it's days later um it's really cool how, how that happens in life. So um, I'd love to hear about how that shows up in your art. This all relates to a really cool uh, conversation I had actually a few years ago with the amazing uh, now past landscape painter, Russell Chatham. Uh, Russell Chatham's the poster child for somebody who uh, he found his own damn way and he, I took a two hour conversation I had with him and I broke it up and I took really cool nuggets out of it and I, and I put it back together. So there's about a you know, 40 minute conversation. But this idea of finding your own way and, and he just, he was so, such a maverick and he became, his, his paintings became so successful. He's so successful his paintings and the price of his work, it was like, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars for these landscape paintings. He never had a gallery. He had his own gallery. Um, and, and the way he became, uh, the way he found his way is really, really cool. So that comes out on Wednesday, check it out. It'll give you a lot of, um, 
it'll go, give you some ideas as to like, well, maybe I'd ought to try doing some things a little differently in my, in my art and my life. So anyway, I hope you can check that out. There's a link down below, click on it and um, you can subscribe to the podcast there. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.